Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about brewing lagers and brewing them fast. So is it possible to brew lager in five days? Of course it is. Here you have it on day five, straight out from the fermenter source. It ain't as dark as it looks on the camera. It's not clear. I hope you didn't expect it to be clear after five days from uh, brew day to glass. Let's look at the beer. It's, let it heat up a bit. Uh, it's cold crashing right now, sitting at four degrees. Started cold crashing it last night. So it has been cold crashing for about well, maybe 20 hours, something like that. We have a beautiful looking beer. It's hazy. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's not uh, as dark as you see it on camera. It's more of a yellow color here. You can't see through it at all. Uh, it has a beautiful, extremely tight white head, like a two-finger head. Good amount of carbonation. And there's some little floaters in there. Not unexpected for such a fresh beer. Okay, let's give it a nose. <sighs> Smells fresh. Little hops and molds there. Okay, let's dive in. Cheers, guys. Mm. It's well carbonated. Yeah. This is uh, this turned out very well. I'm searching for any flaws. No off flavors at all, no diacetyl, no uh, acetaldehyde, no sulfur, something like that. I expected it to be more yeasty, but there's some yeast flavor to it, but not much. It's more like a fresh lager, um, you know, like an unfiltered lager, because it is an unfiltered lager. Maybe if I uh, should brew a clear lager in five days, I have to filter it. I haven't done any filtering to any beer yet, but uh, of course I have to try that as well. Okay, so the beer, uh, some malt sweetness there. Very refreshing beer and a very good amount of carbonation. It's uh, a little bit citrusy. And a uh, medium mouthfeel. Quite dry, but uh, still a good mouthfeel to it. Can't really find anything to uh, complain about. It doesn't taste uh, green, if you understand me. Uh, it has some yeastiness to it, but not as much as I uh, expected. It will clear up and uh, some of that yeastiness will uh, go down as well, but uh, not very yeasty at all. So how did I brew this lager in five days? 
this beer was a part of another recipe where I got a second wort after the first wort from this same mash. So I can go through the grain bill, but uh, I will only give you the uh, grains in uh, percent, which should be done anyway, always. This was a 23 liter batch. I used 67% uh, Pilsner, 13% uh, Munich, 10% wheat, 4% Carapale, uh, it's a light um, caramel, 3.3% acid malt for uh, pH adjustment and uh, about 2.7% melanodium malt. Uh, hops wise I used uh, pearl and magnum, used some magnum at uh, 30, I think it was 10 grams. 10 minutes I used 20 grams of pearl and at 5 minutes I used 44 grams of pearl hops. I chilled it down to uh, like 1820C, something like that, and pitched it onto an old yeast cake. And uh, that's one of the, the thing here. It was quite a lot of yeast. Um, and. Uh, the OG of this beer was 1038, so it's not a huge beer. Quite low OG there, and there were quite a lot of yeast. So that helped out to speed things up. I put just over two bars of pressure on it, and uh, this took off right away. Next morning we had Krausen, after like 36 hours, we were down to something like 1019. Uh, yeah, I started fermenting this at 15, so I pitched it a little bit higher, put it in the fermentation fridge. Uh, after a few hours, we're down to 15, and as I said, after 36 hours, we were down to 1019, so I started ramping it. Uh, on day three, we were down to uh, 1008, and uh, temperature was then 20C, still under over two bars of pressure. Uh, ramped it up further to 22C. And on day four, last night, the FG was 10.008, so I decided to cold crash it. It had a stable FG for like 36 hours, so maybe I could have done this faster. That's basically it. I brewed a low ABV beer. Uh, not so low, this turned out 3.9%, but uh, a lower ABV beer and used uh, quite a lot of yeast and uh, fermenting it a bit hotter than you would normally do. Uh, started at 15, which is uh, like the high range of lager. I fermented this with a, a mix of Saf Lager S23, I think it was, and uh, Mangrove Jack's Bohemian Pilsner. This was a part of an experiment and a part of another experiment. Um, I was thinking of doing a grain to glass of this beer, but uh, don't really know which part of the brew day to uh, pick up from there. Maybe I will do a grain to glass video of the both beers on my Patreon page, but. Uh, can't see how I will fit that sort of video with so many experiments in one on here on YouTube to uh, do it in a normal fashion. How to improve on this? Uh, don't really know. Of course, I could try to do it faster. Uh, this was like a 4% beer, so maybe I could go lower ABV or I could uh, start a little bit higher temperature. I think I will get away with like 17 because uh, I'm fermenting under pressure. Maybe I can do it faster. 
I could have started cold crashing this even faster, but I didn't want to stress anything and I didn't actually stress anything. If we run through the numbers, I had an OG of 1038. I kept it uh, inside of the uh, specified temperature range from uh, the yeast manufacturer. 15 degrees was the highest. And uh, I started ramping when it was, like I said, 1019, so it had gone fairly well on its way. Uh, and uh, I ramped it up for diacetyl rest and all of that. And I let it sit for more than 24 hours and it had a stable FG. And then I cold crashed it. I haven't give it any time to lager, but uh, when you brew this way, I don't think you have to. If I had brewed it uh, at like eight, nine degrees Celsius with no pressure, maybe I would have ended up with a lot more like sulfur tasting and that compound maybe will need some time to lager, but uh, we have a refreshing, uh, good drinking beer here after five days and I'm uh, very impressed with that. So I'm rambling here guys, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. Yes, it is possible to brew a lager in five days. Uh, it's a personal record for me. So, uh, what you guys think, comment down below, don't forget to uh, thumbs up and uh, subscribe, hit the little bell and all of that. So cheers guys and thanks for watching, Dr. Hans out.